Getting annoying. With Max Payne 3, Rockstar Games has tried to make a uniquely cinematic action game. Stay here, cover me. That uses a series of presentation innovations to move the game seamlessly from cutscene to gunplay. And from one chapter to the next. Trouble seems to find us, Max. Sure, trouble finds us the same way you found me, slumped in a bar drunk on self-pity. Resulting in an immersive experience that keeps the player locked in Max's dark and twisted story. The Max Payne franchise is known for its graphic novel style storytelling, incorporating voiceover and flashbacks to build a complex, layered narrative. Max Payne! To evolve this comic panel presentation from Max Payne 3, Rockstar Studios developed a custom panel generator that dynamically incorporates in-game footage in real time. When did I ever needed to invite trouble in? To keep the player in the game world and in Max's consciousness at the same time. The game transitions from gameplay to cutscenes using a range of cinematic editing techniques without ever showing a loading screen. Each environment in Max Payne 3 is highly detailed and based on real-world research while being interactive. Now behind the desk, now. During gunplay, a wide array of individual elements within the environment shatter, break apart, burn, or explode, adding to the sense of chaos. While only used as a respite from the action, even cover is destructible. Areas built with low quality construction materials have more destructible cover, while others offer somewhat more solid protection from gunfire. During quieter moments, Max can explore the environment to learn more about his predicament. The same level of detail extends to the weapon animations, where all of Max's reload and swap animations are contextual and based on the specific weapon type. With stunning cinematic presentation designed to complement the finely tuned gunplay and hard-boiled narrative, Max Payne 3 offers players an incredibly engaging action experience that looks almost as good as it feels to play.